It's safe to say that Melania Trump now leads a lavish life, but was she always loaded? From her hard-working Eastern European roots to her success in the modeling world, she actually did just fine as a bachelorette. Here's how much Melania was worth before she married Donald Trump. Born Melania Kanaus in what is now Slovenia, Melania was raised under communist rule. Her father, Victor, was a salesman at a state-owned car company, while Melania's mother, Amea, developed children's clothing patterns at a factory. In GQ, Melania said of her parents, "...they're both hardworking. They're both very smart and very capable. They grew up in totally different environments, but they have the same values. They have the same tradition." It was clear from an early age that Melania was determined to lead a prosperous life. A former high school classmate told The New York Times, "...she tried to find opportunities and took them. Melania may have had a leg up. Her father was allegedly a part of the Communist Party. Being a member had benefits, and only a tiny percentage of Slovenians belonged. Although she's been brushed off as a vapid model trophy wife by the media, Melania had bigger aspirations before deciding to pout in front of the camera. Stane Yurgo, the photographer who originally spotted Melania, said she initially wasn't interested in modeling. He told GQ, "...school was the most important thing for her." Melania studied architecture at Ljubanja University. Professor Blas Vogelnik told The Daily Beast, "...I can put my hand in the fire to prove that she was a very intelligent student with a high IQ." However, Melania never graduated and instead ditched her freshman year and exam for a modeling career. Vogelnik mused that the timeline might not have been fast enough for the budding model. She must have realized that it would take her six to seven more years of studies before she could start making good money as an architect. The average Slovenian architect makes the equivalent of $32,735 U.S. dollars in 2020. So there's no denying that Melania's decision to leave Academy would pay off. Modeling ultimately led her to Donald Trump. Melania left Slovenia for Milan after her first year in college, and in 1996 she caught the eye of wealthy Italian businessman Paolo Zempoli, who helped her travel to America on a modeling contract and a work visa. During a 2016 campaign speech in Pennsylvania, Melania said, "...I loved my work, and as a young entrepreneur, I wanted to follow my dreams to a place where freedom and opportunity were in abundance." Although she never made it to the supermodel status of Naomi Campbell or Kate Moss, Melania Trump had a successful modeling career. After immigrating to America at 26 years old, Melania had to compete against younger models for lucrative contracts. Melania's former roommate, photographer Matthew Atanian, told GQ, "...it's not a friendly industry to models of that age. She aired frustration over the work issue. She was going to castings every day and not succeeding every day. She said things were very different in Europe, that she had been more successful." Melania began auditioning for work that her underage competitors couldn't be hired for, such as tobacco and alcohol ads. Among her first big jobs was a camel cigarette cigarette's billboard in Times Square. As she gained notoriety for her relationship with Donald Trump, Melania's star and rate rose. She appeared on the covers of Vogue and Vanity Fair, among other publications. Melania also found success working with photographers such as Patrick de Marchalier, Helmut Newton, and Mario Testino. According to documents obtained by the Associated Press in 2016, Melania was paid for 10 modeling jobs in the United States, worth $20,056. And all of that work occurred in the seven weeks before she had legal permission to work in the U.S. It's an ironic find, considering her husband's immigration policies, some of which severely restrict the work opportunities of legal immigrants who attempt to pursue a career in the United States. Hollywood didn't come calling for Melania, who attempted to transition from billboards to the big screen. Her time as an actress was extremely short-lived. Thanks to her then-boyfriend Donald Trump, the future flotus nearly nabbed a spot in Sharknado 3 and made a brief cameo in Zoolander in 2001. Look, without Derek Zoolander, male modeling wouldn't be what it is today. Melania also briefly worked as a fashion correspondent for Extra. I will have the stars and the styles here at Fashion Week. Dating Donald Trump certainly came with its perks, and the story of how Melania Trump got his attention is one that she tells with pride. According to GQ, the couple met at a party thrown by Paolo Zampoli in September 1998. Although Donald arrived with someone else, he was drawn to Melania. When he asked for Melania's number, she rejected him and insisted that Donald give his number instead. Melania said, "...I wanted to see what kind of number he would give me. Business, home, 
if he would give me business number, I'm not a girl doing business with him. But Melania got more than Donald's numbers. She also got on the A-list. The press was abuzz wondering who Donald Trump's European girlfriend was, and Melania started scoring bigger modeling deals. An infamous British GQ piece from 2000 featured Melania posing naked on Trump's customized Boeing 727, wearing handcuffs and diamonds, and holding a chrome pistol. Although Donald Trump never shouted, you're hired, at Melania, a bunch of other companies did, especially after she appeared on The Apprentice. According to the New York Post, Melania was offered an endorsement deal with Levi's jeans after wearing a pair to a meeting on the television show. Melania launched a line of jewelry in 2010 through QVC and two years later founded an anti-aging skincare company. According to the Associated Press, Melania made between $15,000 and $50,000 in 2016 from these businesses. That same year, Melania filed a libel lawsuit against the Daily Mail after the newspaper published a piece claiming the future FLOTUS previously worked as an escort. But Mrs. Trump's lawyers argue those scandalous, unproven allegations hurt future endorsement deals. In 2017, the Daily Mail paid Melania $2.9 million, adding to her net worth. After marrying Donald Trump in 2005, Melania is reportedly worth $50 million. She now ties with Jackie Kennedy as the wealthiest first lady in American history. Thankfully, Melania was successful before marrying Donald Trump because he made sure they signed a prenup. The president told Larry King that prenups are... Prenups are very tough. Darling, I love you very much. Sign we're gonna live it. our right. We're gonna live our lives together forever. And by the way, sign this sucker. We're not getting married. If things do in fact go sour, Melania still has a fifty million dollar net worth to fall back on, mostly acquired from her modeling days. The now discontinued QVC jewelry line and various commercials. While nobody knows the details of the Trumps' marriage, we're guessing Melania would be just fine if she was fired out of the Apprentice alum's life. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nikki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.